Welcome to Wildernet channel. Please, like and subscribe. Press the notification bell to be notified about our latest updates. Today, we'll be looking at 13 deadly creatures you should avoid at the beach, or when on a research program, or exploring around the beach. They are Number 13. Common Cone Shells. Their victim immobilizing venom can cause their prey to become paralyzed. The marine snail, which inhabits cone shells is found in reefs all around the globe. Fortunately, medical research has found this venom very helpful in pharmacology research. However, there has yet been or antivenom developed for the cone snail stings. Over time, there have been 30 or more recorded human deaths from this venom. Number 12, Mosquitoes. In certain climates and areas, mosquitoes are extremely common. Malaria is caused by the parasite genus Plasmodium, carried by the Anopheles species of mosquitoes. But only certain destinations are home to malaria-carrying mosquitoes so make sure you check before you travel and stock up on anti-malaria medication if needs be. Number 11, Saltwater Crocodiles. These crocodiles have the ability to travel over land with amazing speed and in the water they are dolphin quick. It's pretty scary to realize that a deadly beach creature can kill an animal as large as a water buffalo. The deadly attack, known as the death roll, occurs when the prey is grasped firmly and the saltwater crocodile begins to roll in the water or on land. In one minute or less, a healthy, spirited one-ton horse can be killed. Number 10. Stonefish. Named for its appearance, this fish's coloration makes it easy to mistake for a real stone when wading. The Dornorn. Commonly called the stonefish is among the most venomous beach creatures on the planet. Mainly in the Pacific and Indian Oceans, it inhabits shallow waters in the tropics. The dorsal fins contain a row of toxic-filled spines. Those who have experienced the envenomation and lived describe it as the worst pain known to mankind. It can cause shock, paralysis, and tissue death. Medical attention must be reached immediately. It can cause death to people within a couple of hours. Its sole beneficial use is as an extremely tasty. Oko's sushi, eaten in Japan. Number 9, Sea Snakes. Most people think these sea creatures can't bite but their short fangs, less than 4.5 millimeters can still pierce human skin. Ocean-going trawlers are where most sea snake bites occur since the snake can be hauled in along with the desirable catches. They are also capable of opening their mouths wide enough to consume a huge prey so even a small sea snake can grab a human thigh. Number 8, Fire Ants. They normally feed on nearby plants and small insects. Found typically building nests in sandy soil, fire ants live along the beach and other areas in large mounds. If disturbed by a person, the fire ants scurry to sting and protect their queen. A few stings are only annoying unless a person is allergic, and they can be treated at home. But if a large swarm of fire ants sting, death can ensue. Number 7. Portuguese Man of War Jellyfish. Found mainly far out in the sea, it can be seen swarming or floating with thousands of organisms grouped together. We may say it's not a true jellyfish, the Portuguese man of war is a siphonophore, a colony of organisms living together. Dermoclis coriacea, commonly called leatherback sea turtles, feed on these sea creatures. In fact, it is their favorite food. Sharks can be attracted to the turtles and mistake a human swimmer or surfer for a turtle. It's safer on the beach if you see jellyfish in the water. Nematocystic toxin from the Portuguese man of war is considered to be half as powerful as that of a cobra. Number 6. Great White Shark. Reaching up to 5 tons and 6 meters in length, this fish is a real predator and the only surviving species of the genus. This exceptional large shark of jaws fame lives in coastal waters in all the world's major oceans. While they don't intentionally prey on humans, they tend to test bite anything which looks like it could be prey and it leads to a number of human fatalities each year. Number 5. Flower Urchin. The toxin of this flower can cause paralysis and it has been documented to have killed humans in Japan. Toxinus spilius. The flower urchin must be handled with great care due to the long spines which are covered with flower-like venomous pinches, called pedicellari. Number 4. Asian Hornets. This huge hornet can reach 3 inches in length. Just 20-30 Asian Hornets can invade and kill an entire hive of honeybees. While the sting is generally not lethal except for allergic reactions, there are four special aspects to the venom. 1. At least eight different chemicals are contained in the venom, which then produces another chemical to attract other hornets to a victim. 2. Its sting contains more acetylcholine, an enzyme causing pain, than any other stinging insect. 3. As with all hornets, it has the ability to sting repeatedly. 4. 
An enzyme in the venom dissolves living human tissue. Number 3. Box Jellyfish. Considered by most, it's the most horrible creature to be stung by. Victims have been known to pass out in pain yet continue screaming from the venom's effects. Box Jellyfish, known commonly as the Sea Wasp, is probably the most dangerous speech creature listed here. The creature's tentacles contain tiny nematocysts packed with powerful venom which stick to victims. In 1884, documentation confirms the first recorded human victim and it has since killed over 5,500 people. Who knows how many died before records were kept. Number 2. Blue Ring Octopus. Considered one of the most venomous animals in the world, no anti-venom is known. A blue ringed octopus, this golf ball sized sea creature has enough venom to kill as many as 26 people within minutes. The bite may first seem harmless but then the potentially fatal neurotoxins begin their work to cause numbness, muscle weakness, respiratory failure, and death. Watch out around the Pacific beaches from Australia to Japan. Number 1. Marbled Cone Snail. The marble cone snail shell looks beautiful but the sea creature inside is deadlier than any other possible beach inhabitant listed here. One drop of venom could kill 20 or more people. Found in warm, tropical salt water, if you find one, don't touch it. A sting immediately begins showing symptoms or the onset may be days later. The intense pain, numbness, swelling, and tingling feeling can result, in severe cases, muscle paralysis, respiration shutdown and vision changes or death. It is fortunate that only 30 people have been killed by envenomation because there is still no anti-venom available. Thanks for watching and listening.